Everybody trying to change my ways But I live just to see you break I'm a sucker for adrenaline Every villain is You take the high road, I'll take the low Everyone Right here, this is what you come to Sinaloa for knows. Feels good to be just getting everything loaded up here. Going to be leaving this lovely Michigan weather. A couple feet of snow. It's been below freezing for I don't even know how long. Off to Sinaloa to hunt for cinnamon, teal, and whistling ducks. Weather's going to be about 80 degrees. So sitting at 40 of 43 waterfall species right now. And Sinaloa holds one of the largest concentrations of teal and fulvous whistling ducks during the winter months. So off there, going to enjoy some nice weather compared to this. Hopefully pick up a cinnamon teal and a falvis, which will put us at 42 of 43. First morning here in Sinaloa, we just pulled up. There's a giant marsh here. The guys just got the airboat set. And this time of year, basically all the ducks from up north come here in winter for two to three months. So this place is loaded up with teal right now. Looking forward to it. We're getting in the airboat. They're gonna take us. We've got some pallets that are gonna keep us above the water. And it should be almost nonstop action all morning. is I'm gonna put out 50 decoys here. Okay. Double up. There's a lot of water here today. Uh -huh. And uh, then you'll have more chance of more ducks coming in. Okay. Just getting set up on the blind here in Sinaloa first morning on pallets that are keeping us up off the marsh. There's this thick growth and they cut it out. So we're literally sticking out in a finger. It's not really deep water looking at the decoys. Some of them actually aren't even floating, just kind of sitting off their side. There have been a ton of ducks that have flown by already and it's only been a couple of minutes. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome morning. I got the Drake Spoonie I was looking for. A couple of them. at it for a couple hours now we've been covered up in shovelers just a few teal hoping the teal pick up later today Are you kidding me? 
Just had a group of teal come in and that was the cinnamon we were looking for all day right there. Gorgeous drake. Got that cinnamon. Came out of the middle of nowhere. See. He just he came in with a bunch of uh shovelers. I was huh? looking at the drakes and all of a sudden he peeled off and started to land just out of the middle of nowhere. Yay. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon yeah. toast, baby. <laughs> well, this is what we came to Sinaloa for, a cinnamon teal right here. We've been covered up in shovelers just about all morning. We had a big group of shovelers coming in. I had two drakes that were picked out on the left hand side. And all of a sudden this one started to touch down and I picked out that it was a cinnamon right away. And what a gorgeous drink. Right here, this is what you come to Sinaloa for. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time was cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch them take my dog away, it's way too hard to take the ball. Well, just wrapping up an awesome morning here in Sinaloa. David's back here. We're picking up decoys and the last birds. We're going to get everything packed up. We're going to go scout for Falva's whistling ducks for tomorrow. When I looked down when I looked up the rest of the places and I didn't see one of them black ones, a white one. I didn't know if there wasn't any in the area. A lot of time I was here, they were all across the, those that bridge up at the top. After looking at all looking at all these places where I knew they were, I thought well there's gotta be one, right? Mm -hmm. If there's one we got a chance to get them. Yeah. But I couldn't find one. And I thought, well, that's really strange. So I, I, I have a biologist that works for me. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he says, he says, those type of species fly south in the winter from here. Okay. That's why we got a few of them here, but they, they fly south. It's about 200 miles south of here. Okay. So that's when I said, well, a chance of be getting one yeah. of them here. A bunch of black bellies, though. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't get over how many are stacked in here. There's one fulvus right there. No way. Yep. Right in the back, Jameson. Hey, there's, there's one fulvus right there. Yep, it's the one that's light colored with a blue bill right in the back. Well, we've been glassing up whistling ducks all day. We've been going to the areas that they've been loafing just to lay eyeballs on them and see if there are any fulvus whistling ducks in there. And out of all the thousands that we've looked at today, we've just seen one falvus mixed in with the black bellies, which kind of leads to that they've even migrated farther south from where we are. So we're gonna regroup here. We're actually gonna travel about 300 miles farther south from Los Moches. 
hunt down there. There's still a good population of whistling ducks, but hopefully there's some more fall that's mixed in. It's not going to happen here in Las Mochas. Well, thank you again. Thank you. I, I, really, I, really, I really got the enthusiasm. Thank you. And the feel for, 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 for what you guys are doing. Well, I got that. Well, let's go get them. Yep. <laughs> And we did, we got out. Yep. Thank you again. Yeah. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Did put me in there. Thank you. 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 Thank Look at him, he ain't They're not to me, ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go coach, try to go back and farther. I can't, can't, can't. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? Nah. Yeah, I just had a great time on this trip. What do you want to say to your wife? I'm sorry we didn't go to the I'm sorry, oh, I. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Well, we just got COVID tested. We have to be clean tested 72 hours before we go back into the state. So it's had that fun one way up in the back of the brain. Oh! You want to see that one? You want to go? Give her hell, Ricky. With the sim and teal now in hand, I can't justify leaving Mexico without getting a falvis. Knowing that I'm only a few hundred miles away from number 42, going home now is not an option. This adapt and overcome mentality is intoxicating at this point. This is the part of the journey that I found myself addicted to. I've noticed myself becoming more hungry for success the closer I get to the end, and it feels like I'm just waiting for dessert to be served. With only two species left, and having most of the obstacles out of the way for Greenland, all stops have been pulled out. With one call to Matt Gindorf at WTA, I was on my way to Kulikan to find number 42.